Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I can't remember if I introduced this video so I'm going to do it right now. So I'm looking a little bit orange like it's just gone dark in my room so like my forehead looks extremely dark. I've just done a transformation video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you want more of these videos in the comments and yeah just watch how I go from being an egg to this so yeah if you haven't noticed i've got my extensions in they are curled i am ready to go so i'm just gonna do my face so let's do a transformation video i've already tanned i've not done that on camera because no one wants to see that. So yeah, I've kind of put some tan on. Um, it's not the darkest, but hey ho, we're rolling with it. So <coughs> let's go in with some skincare. So I'm gonna use the vitamin E serum. Do you know what? I'm just gonna take it off and just. So this week I've got a few videos that I'm going to film so i thought i'd sit down and do like a transformation video and just like update you guys as well so i'm not just like sat here talking i thought i'd do my makeup i've got a few videos lined up so i'm going to be doing a skincare video on friday so i'm going to try and get that up on sunday of this week coming because i'm filming this on sunday but i'm talking about next week so yeah um, I've got so much so I'm thinking of doing a skincare video I'm thinking of doing a styling video on how I start certain clothing items I was actually thinking of doing like a series of like how I style certain items so for example like certain wardrobe items you know like coats bags shoes how to make like a certain like item look a different and store so yeah i was thinking of doing that i use my eye cream by the way if anyone was wondering the vitamin e one i mentioned pretty much the majority of these products in my favorites video so now i'm going to go in nyx won't stop can't stop foundation this is in shade medium olive as well um i'm just gonna squirt it straight onto my skin i'm gonna go in with a brush actually to get full coverage i like to do a little bit at a time with this foundation so my neck and my foundation are probably going to look a little bit weird but i'm just going to blend see now we'll look okay once i've got concealer and everything on we'll look normal again but right now i'm going to look like homer simpson so that's just great I love looking like a Simpson. I've not done a makeup video in just so long. I think the last makeup video that I did was the Molly May one. So this is like just how to basically catfish. And then I'm going to go in with my Real Technique sponge and just blend that out. So then I'm going to go in with my hydrating mist spray. <laughs> I can't believe I'm nine minutes into this video already. That's because I just sit there dancing around. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in shade light sand. And I'm just going to go under my eye with this. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my nose, the, the, I'm not going to put any on my forehead because recently I've been liking my forehead not looking as like highlighted and contoured, I don't know why, I just have, like I've really been loving that and then I'm going to go over my eyelid with that, this is like a base. I'm really dragging that concealer up 
obviously you'll probably know how to highlight but just in case by the way excuse my roots my hair's just having like a major regrowth session since the last time I filmed it's just like let's go in with some NYX powder so this is in shade 02 and it's in shade nude and yeah I'm just going in with a Spectrum A01 brush and I'm just taking my face and going down my neck obviously with this and because it's winter I'm really going to pack it around my nose Because in winter, because we live in England, in winter, we blow our nose so often because we're full of colds 24-7 because it's freezing. So yeah. I think I need to bring some life back into my face. So before I do my bronzer, I'm going to use my hydrating spray again. This is by Superdrug. I'm going to go in with another Spectrum brush. This is an A04 brush. It just looks like this. And I'm going to go in with the NYX bronzer, who could have guessed, um, in deep tan. And I'm going to get of myself some cheekbones because it's winter. We all feel so sorry for ourselves. We just overeat. Especially if you're a girl around that time of the month, like... I just love to eat. I know I do. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Velvet Rose Palette. I'm going to do a little bit of something, something on my eyes. Just because. Um, yeah, I'm going in with the B06 by Spectrum brush. And I'm going in with these two shades. It's quite... A glam makeup I'm gonna do I'm gonna try like I said I've not done my makeup in absolutely ages so I'm just packing that color on the outer color outer color outer corner and like buffing it in at the same time and then same on the other eye so anything on this eye, I'll just skip forward because you can see it on this eye. Um, just so we can save a bit of time. So now I'm going to go in with this brown shade using the exact same brush because it's a little, it's only a little bit darker than the other shades. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe R38 brush and it's just, it's stained. So yeah. And I'm going to go in back in with that orangey shade that I used before. And I'm going to mix it with a bit of this red, like ready brown. Just to give the eye a little bit more warmth as well. Then I'm going to go in with a thinner fluffier brush. And I'm going to go in with this like warm burgundy kind of colour. And... my outer corner and just slowly blending it in and then blending it back out with the Morphe R38 bra always better to like build your colours up rather than just going in straight away you're always better to build them up slowly And then again, going back in with the Morphe brush and that orangey colour. I'm going on top of that. And it just blends a lot better. Then exactly the same on the eye. So I'm going to mix the burgundy colour with a little bit of brown now. On the bottom that I went in before. Using that same brush. And I'm just going to like 
put it on the outer corner and just bring it in ever so softly. Just to really give the outer corner a little bit more depth. I think I'm going to go in with this colour and I think it's number 8. So I'm going to use a flat brush like that. And I'm going to pick the products up. And just because there's a lot of fallout, I'm gonna go in with a fluffier kind of like flatter brush. It's just like that thing, but like fluffier. And just pack it on. And build it up slowly. Can you see it's really picking that up now? Okay, so I just decided on the, like, this bit, like, where I look flat and the pupil is, I want to kind of use, like, this for the colour as well. It's a little bit darker than that one. It's more of, like, a chocolate brown, but it's still got a bit of, like, red reflex in it. So I'm just going to pop that more on the outer corner. Just so we've got a little bit of a darker shine. Also, it will really help that blend. Now I'm going to go in with the Iconic Fever palette. I'm going with this chocolate brown at the bottom. And I'm just darkening the outer corner just a little bit more. And dragging it in. Not going too high because we don't want to go too high. Well, you can if you want, but I don't want to. Also, if you do want more pigment, always like stamp your brush and then keep on stamping. Build it up and then blend. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this bright orange and I'm going to go in with that spectrum brush and I'm just ever so slightly going to like flick it through. Just we've got some more colour up there, like so. So then I'll put the lashes on in a minute, do the brows and I'll there just. Next I'm going to go in with some soap brows. If you don't know what soap brows are, you just get a spoolie, get your, get my hydrating mist. I get a bar of soap. A lot of people use a clear one. I can't use a clear one because it irritates my skin. So I have to use the simple soap. And I just spoolie them into place and I just rub my soap around like so. I've been doing this trick for a while now and I've absolutely been loving it. So yeah. Um, then I go in with my Wet n Wild brow pencil in Ash Brown. I'm going to get my NYX mirror again for this just because it's a lot easier. So yeah, I just, I like to do my arch and my tail fur, so I'm barely touching, and then I just like to drag it through the front of my brow I've kind of been loving more, more not more of an arch like brow but more like of a straightish brown with a bit of an arch I'm 
but yeah I've, I've been loving doing my brows this way i think look so much fluffier and they just suit me a lot better i used to be like a neat freak with my brows they had to be like the same I mean, still try and get them the same, but if they're not symmetrical, don't worry too much about it. Our brothers and sisters are not twins, so yeah. But, but mine are actually, they're not even sisters. Mine are like distant cousins. So I like to go a little bit thicker when I've got a lot of eye makeup on. I say a lot of eye makeup. You know, like when I've got glam eyes on. I just think it looks a lot better that's just my preference highlighter i'm gonna go in with the wet n wild highlighter i'm just gonna go in with this little flat brush i don't know what this is for uh, what brush this is i got it from costco when i was like 10 so yeah and i'm just running the highlighter under my brow bone I used to love it when it was like popping under my brow bone, but now I just like a little bit. I don't like to go OTT. Yeah, that is that done. Blob for. So these eyelashes are by a Instagram brand called Luxury Lashes X. So they just look like that. So I'm going to use these ones because they're quite like, spiky. They're very glam. I can't remember what these ones are called. I'll find out for you, but yeah. Let me know if you want a video of how I do my makeup now compared to how I used to do my video. I saw Jamie and Genevieve do it. I think that's how you pronounce him. And I absolutely loved watching that. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it when you don't have to cut your eyelashes. Because you just fit your eye perfectly. I absolutely love that. I don't think there's no bad feeling. So I'm just going to put some glue. Using the eye layer glue. Using a brand new one. I'm going to put some glue on these lashes, leave them to go tack it for a good minute or so. I love it when they go really, really tacky because I think they just stick so much better. Especially when they're new because a new lash is so hard to stick. Like if you've worn your eyelash a couple of times, it's easier to stick. But when they're brand new, they're really hard. I always struggle. So I do normally get my eyelashes done. But lately I've been wearing strip lashes because my hair's been falling out and so my eyelashes are due to postpartum. So that's why I've been wearing more strip lashes recently. I'm just going to go in with some Primark mascara because... I'm wearing eyelashes so I only need it to blend. I mean, if you want to leave it like that, that's absolutely fine. It does actually look nice like that, but I want to do the whole shebang, you know? So while my eyelashes are drying, I'm going to do the rest of my face. So I'm going to go in with the Emmy Way blush, and this is in Lolly. Using it on just a fluffy brush. I love this blush. This is by Amuwe and this is like a pound or something. I absolutely, I just love this blush. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with some highlights and I'm using the Precious Petals by Wet n Wild. This highlighter, I spoke about it in my favourites video. And I absolutely love this. I mean, look at that. I don't like putting a lot of highlighter up there anymore. I find, like, it makes my makeup look really muddy sometimes. So... 
I don't put too much up there. <coughs> and then going in again with the hydrating spray, making sure my makeup doesn't look too cakey. So I'm going to go in with lips while we wait for the lashes. Using my lip liner in New Sway Shoes, if you've watched me for, I don't know, I've been using this a while now. And then I'm going to go in with the Satin Ribbon NYX Lingerie Lipstick. And then it's time to stick my eyelashes down. Also, when I stick my eyelashes on, I kind of get the end and I just like lift it slightly just so like it lifts my eye up. I got that from Hannah Renee. Okay, so that is the lashes on. I'm just gonna do my under eye now. I'm gonna go back to the Iconic Fever palette and I'm gonna get that burgundy colour there. Pack it on that little brush. And then I'm gonna run this by on the outer corner and like ever so slightly just flick it up. So, and then the same on the other eye. Then I'm going to get, do you remember that bright orange that we used before? I'm going to get that on my Morphe uh, 3.8 brush. And then just under where that purple is, just take the orange. And then I'm going to run it into the corner of my eye as well. Like so. And then with a little thinner brush, I'm going to go in with that burgundy colour but also that chocolatey brown colour and I'm going to get that right on the edge here on the outer corner and just pack that on there and the same on the other eye like so so yeah, that is the eyes completed. So I'm gonna go in with some more hydrating spray now. And just. This is probably why my mate, like my hair goes so greasy because of the amount of like, hydrating spray I put on. Oh, and I can't forget, I'm going in with my Max Factor Gloss. And that is it. So that's the eyes. Okay, so there it is. That is my finished look. So we've gone quite like burgundy on the eyes. With a big lash and then a glossy lip. Like I said, I've not done this look for probably years. I'm not even joking. I've not done like a burgundy dark eye for absolutely ages since back in the day when I used to go clubbing, I think. So yeah, I've just curled over a few pieces of my hair. I've got my Beautyworks extensions in. So yeah. That is my little transformation video. You saw what I look like at the start, like. So yeah, that is it. 
let me know if you want any more makeup looks as well because I'm really thinking of like starting to do more makeup on my channel because that's what I actually did YouTube for it was like makeup and then it just like because I just love fashion I just thought I hope you enjoyed so yeah I will see you hopefully in my next one bye guys <laughs>